welcome back viewers in today's video we are going to check out the pantheon desktop of nix os so let us start this is the login screen of the pantheon desktop you have got accessibility readers along with the screen reader and on screen keyboard here this is the network manager and the power manager is there and at the bottom there is option for the manual login so now let us log in to the pantheon desktop This is one of my favorite desktops. It looks very clean and it looks very classy, beautiful. So this is it. There is a gray wallpaper in the background. You have got the Pantheon dock at the bottom. There is an applications area here. And at the top center, you have got the calendar and day date time settings and the events is there. You have got the volume manager on the right side. There is sound settings below it. Then you got the network manager, the notifications area along with the DND option and the power manager is there. So at the bottom, let us check out the dock. You have got a multitasking view here. Then you have got the web browser. The web browser I think is Epiphany. Let us check out which web browser is that. So I have opened up the help let us see which uh, okay so i think it is not opening up or what let us check out the preferences so these are the appearance preferences i will just shut it down why the help is help is not working maybe there is some issue so i will close this down then you have got the mail. I think mail uh, client is Geary or what? Let us check out. Okay. So this is the mail client. You have to configure your online accounts using the online accounts button here. Then you have got the task manager. So you can add your uh, task. You can schedule your task from here. You have got this calendar. This is the Pantheon desktop calendar, default calendar of the Pantheon desktop. You can add birthdays, anniversaries, personal uh, to do's. You can add new calendar. You can import the iCalendar file from other system. You can do online account settings and import the online uh, online calendar from your from your Gnome or Yahoo uh, email. Then you have got the music player. This is the music player of the Pantheon desktop and this is the video player of the Pantheon desktop. This Pantheon desktop here it is working little slow otherwise uh, it should be very fast if you use the elementary OS the desktop is more fast than this. So this is the video player you have to open any video file using the file explorer even here and you can get uh, some tunes you can change the music folder, you can import music from any of your folders. So I will close this now and let us go over to the photos. This is the photos app. So you can import photos, change uh, library, uh, library of photos. You can change the folders of the photos. And you can do some decent uh, uh, photo editing using this app. And finally the system settings is there. In system settings you have got the applications. So you can set the default applications for your web browser, email client, calendar, video player, music player, image viewer, text editor and the file browser and you can specify which apps will start during the system startup and you can give permissions to individual apps. Now we will go back then we will uh, open the desktop. So desktop has some beautiful wallpapers. These are the elementary wallpapers. They all are Georgias. For example, you have got this. Looks very Georgias. What I will do? I will just shut it, uh, close this down. This is very Georgias wallpaper. I will again open. Go to the desktop. This one is even more fantastic. I like me. This is my favorite wallpaper for the Pantheon desktop. Looks very very fine. Then. You can check this out. This is also classic wallpaper. So different wallpapers are there. There is some choice. 
in the kde desktop there was this default kde wallpaper and there were some other uh, default kde wallpapers just like you have seen in the pantheon so this is all now to the notifications so you can configure the notification for each of the apps given here now we will go back now let us check out the security and uh, privacy so you can enable the data sources for each of this for the example the chat logs documents music pictures presentation spreadsheet and videos you can specify uh, the apps where uh, you can specify to not use the data for, uh, not collect the data from the specified apps so that will ensure your privacy and uh, privacy of the data that is uh, that is inside that specific app you can specify the lock settings for the for example lock on suspend lock after screen turns off and forbid new usbs when lock so this ensures that high privacy is maintained and nobody can read your data or collect your data using a usb drive when the screen is suspended or the system is suspended or the screen is locked and there is a firewall so you can unlock the firewall you have to just specify your password and then the firewall is started and you can uh, con configure it for actions protocol version direction and the port so you can specify uh, rules for the firewall from here and there is this housekeeping uh, section where you can automatically delete older uh, temporary files trash files and the download files and you can delete them after the specified time intervals and there is this location app so you can uh, configure whether the system is allowed to uh, check your location or not and the history of the different chats so the data sources that is the history is enabled right now but you can um, disable this so no history is uh, tracked or no, no history is collected from the specified apps and you can directly clear all the history of all the apps from after you click this clear history button now this is the standard uh, uh, display settings so you can specify the scaling factor you can detect displays from here you can uh, yes and uh, use this uh, gear uh, icon to change the resolution screen rotation and the refresh rate of the uh, selected screen or the selected display and you can do the night settings from here the color temperature and the schedule for the night light then this is the keyboard settings so layout input uh, methods shortcuts and behavior can be configured from here for the your uh, keyboards same same is for the mouse and touchpad so you can uh, configure the behavior like clicking pointing gestures and the device is like mouse and touchpad from here you can change the primary button you can change the double click speed dual click long press secondary click middle click paste everything you can do it from here this is the power management setting so where you it, you can specify the turn off display time when inactive for how many minutes the power button action the suspend when inactive for how many minutes power management you can change the modes either you can use it in power saving or the balance mode and these are the printer settings so you can add the printer here you have to just connect the printer with the usb of your system and then you can configure the printer from here these are the sound settings so you can see the built-in sound uh, the built-in sound card is there you can change the output change the balance you can specify the alert uh, event sounds you can even make the screen flash when the alert uh, system alert occurs and you can enable the screen reader to provide audio descriptions for items on the screen and you can test the speakers from here this is for the output and similar there are settings for the input so you can uh, configure multiple sound cards and the input volume for your microphones from here and you can uh, con configure the Wacom tablets from here there are these bluetooth settings so you can configure the bluetooth uh, devices that are attached to your system this is the network manager so you can configure your wired uh, connections vpn and proxies from here and there are advanced settings at the bottom where you can do the settings for the ethernet the wi-fi uh, network proxies ipv4 and ipv6 settings 
and there is a airplane mode at there there is a toggle for the airplane mode then you can configure your online accounts so you can add your online accounts from here just like in the gnome desktop this is also uh, configurable for online accounts and you can share share your media library your video videos photos and music with other users using this uh, settings for the sharing then this is the day day time settings so you can configure the time format time zone location based uh, time zones your network time you can uh, configure the search settings then this is the system info so right now the nix os 22.04 coca is used with the kernel 5.15.78 this is the hardware information and the firmware information is there so right now no firmware updates are available and you can restore the default settings from here system default settings from here just like in the android the mobile uh, os you can restore the default settings so you can restore it likewise here by clicking on this restore default settings so the system os will be uh, set to the default settings and finally the universal access is there so you can configure for your audio typing and keyboard devices the universal access settings so this is it now we will uh, go over to the applications let us check out the applications that are available so calculator is there calendar camera is there this is the camera that is available on your top of your screen on the laptop so you can configure the camera the code is there so code is uh, this is nothing but a text editor to edit the coded files there is document viewer evis document viewer is there the file manager is there this is the Pantheon file manager, the Firefox is there. Let us check out the Firefox. So it takes some time to open up. Meanwhile, we will open up the files also. So this way we can fastly complete the video. So skip this step. I will go just I am going to skip all the steps. But it is not necessary right now to configure all these things. Okay. Now let us check out the Firefox version. So it is latest 106.0.5. That's great. I am going to close this down. And what we had opened? Yes, Firefox we are done. Okay, so now let us check out the file manager. So this is the file manager. So here you can see the storage that is the file system and the MixOS Plasma. This is the startup disk or the install installer disk so the installation image of this nix os is there so we can eject the media from here you can check out the network so you can access the network uh, shares from here any device on the network from your like printers or any other desktop laptop from here if you have con configured it and these are the uh, system or the user folders given here Now further, this is the email client we have seen, manage printing, we have seen multitasking view. Let us uh, to do that, let us open any, anything, one or two applications. So now we can check out the, let us resize this. Uh, now we can check out the multitasking. So the multitasking we will show you each of the open windows that are right now opened up. So I will close this. I will close this app also. So it is not required. You can see the control window control uh, uh, is given on the left side, not on the right side. So you have to close the window from the left side, not from the right side normally available. So this is the Nix OS. The photos app is there. Screenshot is there. System edi editor is there or system settings is there. Task terminal is there. Extrem uh, terminal is also given. The web browser is there and the videos app is there so this is all that is given there is no pantheon software center so you cannot directly install because nix os is providing the, the nix package manager so everything you have to install via the nix os uh, os package manager because nix os is providing you with the 100 percent reproducible packages so uh, that that way your system is far more secure than any other linux distribution so you have to compulsorily use the nix os package manager so that is good for you 
with this i will stop the video here see you in the next video we will be check out any other uh, desktops that are available in the nix os see you then and once i complete the nix os uh, desktops then we will go over to the installation and installation of software packages using the nix package manager and we will check out how to upgrade your system update your system using the nix package manager see you in the next video bye